Talking about intonation throughout the last few weeks and the next couple of weeks on Get A Better Broadcast Podcast and Video Voice. Thank you for listening. I'm Peter Stewart. Lots of free information. And today we're looking at key number eight to speak more conversationally about how to know which words to lift, which ones to colour uh, and which ones to suppress or drop or throw away and the reasons behind that. We're picking up these reasons, we're picking up the keys from conversationality, from people who are ad-libbing and putting those keys, those guides, those rules onto scripts, whether they be news scripts or commercial scripts, to know how to speak conversationally. And number eight is beware of potential intonation confusion. Now, we've already seen how colouring different words in a sentence leads to a change in meaning of that sentence. Therefore, if you colour the wrong word, the meaning of the sentence becomes wrong as well. Now, in 2021, there was a lack of lorry drivers in the UK which hit distribution companies and threatened to lead to higher prices for products and also stock shortages as well. It was suggested this was because of the coronavirus pandemic and the results of Brexit. And this led to a report on the BBC News, which I'm going to read for you here. It's also in our show notes. Where have all the lorry drivers gone? A shortage of drivers has been blamed by, among others, the German confectionery giant Haribo for problems delivering its sweets to shops in the UK. So, let's take a look at the words to lift there. Again, it may help you if you look at that sentence in the show notes. Where have all the lorry drivers gone? Oh, lorry drivers, the start of the story. So that phrase is new information. So we're going to be lifting slightly the phrase lorry drivers gone. Where have all the lorry drivers gone? In the next sentence, shortage. Now, a lack of drivers a shortage, has already been suggested by that first sentence. So the colour on this word needs to be slight rather than significant. Yeah, We've already said where have all the lorry drivers gone, so we know there's a shortage of them in some way, shape or form. So to then introduce the word shortage is not new information. However, it is quite significant. So, where have all the lorry drivers gone? A shortage of drivers has... Yeah, so we're lifting it but not by a huge amount. It's the degree of colouring. It's nuanced, it's slight, but there's still a bit of colour there. The sentence goes on. A shortage of drivers has been blamed. New information. And as the sentence progresses, you'll see that this is the point of the story. So again, a shortage of drivers has been blamed by slightly lifting the word blamed. What have we got next? Hmm, We've got quite a bit of grammatical grouting in here, haven't we? So these are the words which go between the meaningful words which make the story the story. The meaningful words are the words full of meaning, which are significant and help make the story the story. German confectionery. Now this is new information, so those words need to be lifted as well. Yeah, And also Haribo is new information, so that needs to be lifted or coloured in some way, shape or form. So let's read that second sentence with the lifts that we've got so far. A shortage of drivers has been blamed by, among others, the German confectionery giant Haribo. Yeah, We're dropping giant, but we're saying the German confectionery giant Haribo. Highlighting German confectionery and Haribo. Haribo, new information. That needs to be lifted. The sentence then goes on, for problems delivering its sweets. Well, that that information's already been implied by what's gone before. We've already said, where have the lorry drivers gone? We've talked about the shortage of drivers. So, inevitably, that's going to cause problems. The whole story seems to be about this problem. In fact, we posed that question right at the beginning. Where have all the lorry drivers gone? That, That seems to be suggesting some kind of problem. Yeah? So the information of problems delivering sweets has already been implied. We've talked about sweets because we mentioned the confectionery company. So none of that needs to be coloured at all. It's not new information. It's not contrasting or anything like that. And then we finish off the sentence with to shops in the UK. And we only need to lift 
UK here to contrast with German or Germany and highlight that it's a problem in the UK and not where the company is based because that's new information. It can't be presumed information. The presumed information that a German sweet company would have problems delivering its sweets to Germany. Yeah, but we're saying, no, no, it's not in Germany, it's in the UK. And, and even then, in that sentence that I just ad-libbed, I've lifted the word UK to draw your attention to it as a matter of contrast. So we're going to be lifting slightly the words UK, or the two letters. So now we've got the whole story as, where have all the lorry drivers gone? A shortage of drivers has been blamed by, among others, the German confectionery giant Haribo for problems delivering its sweets to shops in the UK. It's illogical to lift the word it's. Let's hear how that sounds. A shortage of drivers has been blamed by, among others, the German confectionery giant Haribo for problems delivering its sweets to shops in the UK. Oh, no. Awkward clumsy, unpleasant, nasty indeed to my ears. And yet that's what the reporter did on the radio. Problems delivering its sweets to shops in the UK. But in doing that, it gave the impression that Haribo also delivers sweets for other companies. And that the shortage of drivers only affected deliveries of those brands and not Haribo's, which was incorrect. So a misplaced stress can be confusing and misleading. More intonation confusion tomorrow as Get A Better Broadcast podcast and video voice continues. From London, I'm Peter Stewart.